sporty, fun to drive and connected. Maybe these are not the words we regularly associate with a Hyundai. But what if I told you there's a new Hyundai hatch in town that is sporty, fun to drive and connected. I'm not talking about a concept here. It's the new Hyundai i20 N-Line, the car in flesh, the hottest hatch currently and the only hot hatch in town. Hi, I am Venkatesh Kaushik and you are watching Car Lelo, the online marketplace that helps you buy the right car at the right price with the best deals. So let me give you a brief introduction about the N-Line. N in the N-Line stands for Nyamyang, which is the global R&D center. And it also stands for Nürburgring, which is the European technology center for Hyundai Motors. All N-Line models are inspired from WRC series and are homologated for the road. With that out of the way, in today's video, I'm going to tell you if the N-Line is worth the 1 lakh premium over the i20 Asta optional 1 litre turbo. A serious sport hatch requires serious telling and Hyundai has not messed with this. It has provided the N-Line with a black dot front chuckle flag grille that includes the N-Line badge along with skid plates with red highlight accents. The car also features a reprofiled bumper that houses the new fog lamps. Tying down the front end together is the muscular bonnet which gives the hatch its much required meaner look. The updates to the i20 N-Line side profile include a new N-Line badge on the side fender along with new N-Line alloy wheels. We also sport red front brake calipers along with red highlight accents for the side sill garnish. One of the major updates to the i20 N-Line's side profile include rear disc brakes intending to suggest this is a serious hatch. So the updates to the rear of the i20 include a roof mounted spoiler with side wings, a pronounced diffuser and the latest addition, twin tipped sports exhaust. This exhaust is going to put a smile on your face every time you accelerate. In addition, the car also features an N-line badging at the rear. Now that we have seen the exterior updates to the i20 N-line, let's get on the inside and see how radically different the new cabin is to the standard model. The sportiness continues on the inside. The cabin gets an all black treatment with black leather seats with red stitching and a black headliner. The car also gets sporty accents along the door, the AC vents and the AC controls. One of the newest additions to the i20's cabin is the three spoke sport steering wheel that is wrapped in leather with red stitching. The gear knob is an N-line specific sh shifter that gets leather at the top and a leather boot at the bottom. In addition to the sport new sporty updates, the N-line's cabin is a familiar to the uh, standard i20 with a 10-inch touchscreen infotainment system, a fully digital instrument cluster, an 8-speaker Bose system and a large cooled glove box at the center. Enough of the cosmetic talk. Let's get out, drive the car and feel the mechanical changes to see if the car is any different. The i20 N-Line comes powered by a 1.0-litre turbo GDI engine that produces a peak power of 120 bhp and a peak torque of 172 nm. Customers can have the i20 N-Line with either a 6-speed IMT or a 7-speed TCP. Being a N-Line hot hatch, Hyundai has improved two major factors on this vehicle. One is the suspension and the other is the steering. Hyundai has provided a stiffer spring on the suspension to make this hot hatch handle better through corners. The i20's chassis was insanely capable, but a softer spring always let it down. This stiffer spring helps it handle better through corners and provides a stable ride on the highways. The added heft to the steering wheel has given the drivers a more connected feel to the road and now makes the hatch more predictable on the highways. These are welcome updates on the vehicle. Despite being a stiffer suspension setup, Hyundai has not lost the edge on ride comfort. The i20 still offers one of the most compliant rides. Being a hot hatch, anyone would expect this to be a bumpy ride on the inside. But I can tell you with perfection that this is not. 
The i20 offers a very compliant ride, soaking up bumps and potholes with ease. This must be one of its strong points. Being a hot hatch that handles well, offers a pleasant ride and powerful. I think this is one of the best recipes one can have at the moment. The i20 can work as your everyday hatch and as a hatch for your weekend drives. So to answer the earlier question, is this hot hatch worth the extra money spent? We believe so. The extra lakh gets you sportier performance, a better handling machine and the same level of equipment. This is the best package one can afford at the moment. Having spent a good amount of time behind the wheel of this hot hatch, I can tell you with confidence that this car is not going to disappoint you. It will work as your everyday car and also put a smile on you during your weekend drives. Thank you for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any queries about your new car purchase, hit us up in the comment section below.